Hello Libras. <clears throat> this is a reading for you guys for the 23rd through the 31st of this month of July. Let's see what messages we get for you guys for the remainder of the month. Please show me messages for Libra. And we have strength here. That is a uh, Leo energy there with the strength card. Um, some of you are having to really kind of dig deep to do something that you are not comfortable doing. Okay. Um, taming some sort of um, energy that you feel is best for you to kind of like push down. Okay. Could definitely be a Leo individual that is significant for you guys. There is a Knight of Cups. I feel that for some of you, this is about um, resisting somebody that you feel like maybe their intentions aren't um, serious or they're not pure, they're fickle. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here with the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's somebody that comes back time and time again with you guys and uh, you just really don't want that in and out energy and there you are with the justice right there and that is really wanting to do this the right thing not just for yourself but for uh, all individuals involved in a situation because you know that you definitely don't want to do something that you know is not the right thing because whatever you do, you know it, it warrants some sort of kar karma, whether good or bad. So definitely having this feeling of wanting to do what's best. Okay. <clears throat> then we have the two of coins, that Capricorn energy. And the two of coins is just saying that, you know, you kind of have to get your, your, thoughts and your feelings and everything in check figure out what's best for you what takes priority because <clears throat> if you kind of lose sight of what it is that you want as your end goal and you start trying to do too many things at once or you try to do uh, something that's not fitting with your plan then you could lose control things may go awry okay <clears throat> This is all about balancing um, your priorities. <clears throat> and then we have the Four of Coins. As I was pre-shuffling, I saw the Four of Coins. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys have gave, given a lot to a situation. And right now, I think that you feel like you've done enough. And you're kind of withdrawing. You're kind of like holding back. Because you feel like that's what's best for you. You feel like there's not been a reciprocation. You haven't, you haven't gotten what you've given to this relationship with this person. Hmm. Again, that's Capricorn energy there. Then we have a five of coins, coins, and this is feeling rejected. Okay, this is feeling like, and and this is because of this Knight of Cups energy with this person. That one minute, you know, they are so in love with you, and then the next minute it's like they could give or take you. It's like that energy, and that leaves you feeling like um, you've been put off, like you're not a priority. And so I feel you guys, even though this person has probably come back into your life or is coming back, I feel you kind of like putting on this reserve, like I'm not going to allow you to affect me. I'm not going to allow you to come in and just say, oh, I love you, Libra. I want to be with you. And I just fall back into a trap. That is that five coins energy. Like you're ready to have a go on your own at this point. That's Taurus energy there. I feel like you guys are like the empress right here. You do have a king of cups here. Okay. You have a king of cups here. And this is the very emotional king. It doesn't mean that they are, um, they exhibit good emotions all of the time. This is emotions in general. They could be angry. They could be, um, <laughs> 
for some reason bipolar is on the tip of my tongue woman they're way up here and then the next day they could be way down below like there is no in-between energy it's like either they're really really up and happy and they love you and they want to do everything for you they want to hug on you or they are standoffish you know they're in their feelings whatever and then we have a seven of cups um, a strong Scorpio for you guys here I do feel like there may be someone else involved in this situation or either this person is enamored by um, different things in their life right uh, it could be somebody on a job that like they feel likes them I feel like this is the kind of person that um, needs attention they need attention from whoever and it doesn't have to be like a romantic situation <clears throat> and then we have the eight of swords here this is keeping you guys kind of stuck okay because you do have these feelings for this person you do care for this person but there are some things that have transpired that you guys are having a hard time moving past and that's where this justice comes in can you forgive can you move on can you put certain things to bed so you can move on with this person there's a question of whether or not you even want to move on with this person because you can't stop thinking about the things that have already happened with him with them okay so Gemini energy here <clears throat> let's see okay let me do that again because that wasn't right and then we have the Emperor Aries energy under the two of coins you know the Emperor doesn't do much the Emperor waits for people to come to them this is a stubborn energy this is this is you know somebody that has a lot of masculine energy and I feel that is where you are at this point okay Aries is your opposite sign and I feel like you guys are standing your ground or either you're needing to stand your ground with this Emperor falling under the two of Pentacles it's like you know what is important to you to decide what's important to you and then just stick to that stick to your guns okay you have justice and the eight of swords at the center of your reading that means that that is what is consuming you or that is what is important um, for the remainder of the month is deciding what it is that you want to do based on past happenings whether it's to let go of something or whether it's to let go of specifically things that have been done that you feel like were a slight against you or let go of a person even and move forward it's like that is what is at the center of your reading like being able to either let go of issues and move forward with the person or let go of the person okay <clears throat> the eight of wands there hmm what do you do this is Sagittarius energy do you move forward by yourself I feel like you guys a lot of you are really leaning towards moving on by yourself because the four of coins is a very stable conserv conservative type energy um, you're having a lot of reservations I feel about someone and this is somebody that you feel like you gave more to than you received and I feel like you are leaning more towards moving on staying to yourself keeping to yourself okay so that is what I have for you guys for the upcoming week and I will be speaking with you guys very soon